Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how I use some molds, some different kinds of molds, quickly and easily. Because I know a lot of people struggle with using molds, so I thought it might be helpful to show you how I have learned to do it over the years. So I have this ballerina mold made by First Impressions. I absolutely love it, but this one can definitely be tricky. I start off with using some powdered sugar, making sure I've got it in each little nook and cranny, all the crevices, um, kind of dumping it in there and then just kind of uh, bumping it out a little bit onto my surface. Now I have my medium. I am just using fondant here. I'm using Fantasia fondant, which um, I love this fondant as well, but you can really use any fondant. You'll be fine. I am rolling it into kind of a sausage shape. That's how I start um, the shape I use for most of my molds when I'm, when I'm going to use a mold. And not too much, but you definitely want to have enough more than you need. And I am starting by just kind of pushing it down into the mold at one edge and working it in with my fingers as I go along. Just kind of pushing it down, my fingers kind of moving it back and forth as I push it down into the mold. Then I've got some extra powdered sugar um, that I can dip my fingers into so they don't stick to the fondant as I start at the beginning and push that fondant deep down into the mold. It's very important, this step, to push that down in there well because you want to pick up all the details of the mold. I know these first impression molds are awesome. I love them. They're so detailed. They're so cool. But in order to get those details, you definitely have to push down well into the mold. Especially with this ballerina one, on the sides, you want to push down really well on the sides so that you can pick up everything you need to. Okay, then, uh, to get rid of the excess, I use a pair of scissors and just cut, off, cut it off from the back. Once I have smoothed out the back, I will pop that into the freezer for about 20 minutes. Not too much longer than that. Two, zero. <laughs> in case, in case you didn't hear me, um, twenty minutes, and then I will pop it out, and it comes out nice and easily. I know that is the part that most people struggle with: how to get it out of the mold without it coming out of shape. Um, and you see, in this second one, this first one here, I didn't push it down well enough on the sides, so it didn't get down into the sides good enough. I had to redo that one, but the first one came out perfectly. So really the trick is to get it into the freezer for a good 20 minutes and then when you take it out, let it sit. If it's really hot and humid in your house, it might get a little sweaty. That's okay. The sweat will go away after a while. Just let it sit before you color it. Um, and then for my tutorial there, I just kind of put them together and you can see that on the picture of the cake at the end. Now, the same um, ballet cake I was making, I needed to use a frame. So I have this really cheap plastic chocolate frame mold. These are pretty easy as well. Same idea, powdered sugar in there. Make sure you get it in all the crevices. Um, and then this one, I'm not going to start with my sausage shape. Make sure that you need whatever medium you're using. I'm using fondant again, but you can use gum paste, you can use modeling chocolate, um, whatever you use, make sure you knead it so it's nice and moist throughout. Now because this one's flat, I rolled it out flat at first. And now, again, powdered sugar on my work surface so that I can dip my fingers into it and then push down into the mold. Um, I decided that I had too much. Sometimes you do a little trial and error and that's okay, that works too. But I had a little bit too much, so I took some off and started over. More powdered sugar, rolling it out so that it's flat. Kneading, always kneading to make sure it's nice and moist throughout. Oh, I didn't roll it out that time. Apparently I decided I didn't need to. <laughs> and now I'm using my thumb and that excess powdered sugar to push deep down into those crevices. If you don't push down, you won't pick up all the detail and it won't be even and you'll wish that you listened to me and that you push down over and over and over again. <laughs> Trust me on this. 
Okay, so keep pushing down until you think you've filled in all of the crevices. And then, same idea as I used on the other mold. The excess I'm going to take off on the back with a pair of scissors. But before I get to the scissors, I am just kind of um, taking my thumb and pushing off the edge of the mold, that excess fondant there on the edge. So they get a nice, clean, crisp edge around my mold when I take it out. So I'm ripping off, using the powdered sugar because it does get sticky, all the way around. And now obviously my edge is not crisp and clean yet, so I have to clean that up a bit. So, first I'm going to cut into kind of the back. Just cutting into it a tiny bit, I'm mostly trying to cut it so that it's flat on the back. But taking that excess off, because if you leave that on the back, then you're going to get a bump you'll have, you know, extra on the back of your mold of your frame and you don't want that. So I'm doing another round of cutting into it. And now I'm going at those edges and I'm just basically pushing the fondant back in towards the center but still filling the entire crevice. Does that make sense? I'm just kind of pushing it back towards the center, but we're, I'm not leaving any gaps there. Pushing it down and in so that we can get a nice crisp edge. And then this mold, same thing as the other mold, I'm going to pop it into the freezer for 20 minutes. If you keep it in longer than that if you forget about it and you leave it in there for an hour or more when you take it out it might have problems like I did the first time I did this because I totally forgot about my mold and I left it in there too long so what you have to do in order to get this out is you have to smack it against your surface now actually the first time I smacked it I didn't leave it in there long enough so then I put it back in and I forgot about it and it cracked. It cracked when I snacked it out. So I was like, okay, one more try, 20 minutes, boom. There it is. 20 minutes is the gold number in my freezer. <laughs> and it comes out beautifully, easily on the first smack. <laughs> um, now, if you want to take, if you're using a frame mold like this and you want to take the center out, I have this set of oval cutters and... I just find the right size that kind of matches up with the middle. I do have to squeeze it a tiny bit so that it doesn't take too much of the edge of my frame off. But um, squeezing it kind of did the trick. Squeeze it, push it down, and that will cut out my center for me. Now I have a marvelous mold. Marvelous molds are pretty darn marvelous. I do kind of love them. So with my marvelous mold, I am again just using fondant. And I'm rolling it out. I'm actually not rolling it out super thin. I'm rolling it out to, you know, regular thickness. Not too chunky, not too thin. Maybe a quarter of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch to a quarter of an inch thick. Um, make sure you've got a good amount of powdered sugar in your mold. Make sure, again, just like with the other molds, it's covering every nook and cranny of the mold. Make sure you've kneaded your medium, your fondant, so that it is um, the same moistness throughout, not too dry in any places. Then I roll it out, like I mentioned, and add more powdered sugar to the surface of it. Put it over top of my Marvelous mold, and then I push a little bit. I push into the crevices, not as much as the other molds, but enough so that it's going to pick up the details. Marvelous molds are pretty cool. I love, I really like the way that he designed them. Um, 
and once you learn how to use them they are really pretty easy to use but the first time I used them I did not do this pushing that I'm doing right now and so I didn't pick up all of those pretty details that he has deliberately put into his molds and so I had to redo it so do the pushing and then I got a little bit more powdered sugar on top and then I take my very small rolling pin and I just gently roll over the top of it not pushing down too hard just pushing down enough so that these green edges they start cutting through the fondant you can rub you can roll or you can rub along the edges that works too so just keep rolling and rubbing until it's cut out the entire thing okay and then once you've done that make sure that the middle sections that need to come out um, you've also rolled over those as well you can even use your finger to push kind of down on the edges if they need to be cut out a little bit and then you need a sharp object I'm using my exacto knife and just pulling those out and marvelous molds I never need to pop into the freezer I can just pull back and then gently with my other hand um, start them and they'll just pull right out of my mold and I have a marvelous marvelous mold <laughs> okay and then this last mold that I was using for the ballet theater cake is a scrolly mold now I wanted to show you this because this is one of those very thin delicate molds but I do it the exact same way as I do my other marvelous molds I get a nice thin sausage shaped piece make sure you have powdered sugar in the entire mold nice and thin start at the edge push it down in there and then kind of as I go back and forth with my fingers I push it along deep down into the mold there's this one section that is super thin and super delicate but I rarely ever have a problem with it as long as I use this method of just kind of working it along the mold pushing it in kind of rocking it back and forth as I push it in then I have my extra powdered sugar on my surface go back over it pushing it all in with my fingers until it I know that it's deep down in there and then same as before I will um, push off the excess clean up those edges pop it in the freezer for 20 minutes take it out and I'll have a beautiful mold <laughs> I won't have a beautiful mold, I'll have a beautiful piece from a beautiful mold. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. all of these molds to create um, these pretty pieces for the ballerina theater cake I made which there is a full tutorial for on cakeheads.com if you're interested and I hope that this has helped you learn how to use your molds quickly and easily thanks for watching